don't forget that this tutorial is part of a series of tutorials which you can access on our YouTube playlist or alternatively if you would like to you can purchase the whole course on Udemy there should be a link to the YouTube playlist and a link to our Udemy course which should always provide the best price in the video description in our penultimate step in the creation of our database which will take us to the realization of the original design that we showed you at the start of this section plus or minus a few extra bits that I've um, updated in the design from the start we're going to now create our own what I've described as link tables so like I said in the previous tutorial where Django generates the link table for us when we create or define a many-to-many -many relationship between tables we're now going to actually build these tables ourselves there's a few different reasons why we want to build these tables ourselves one of them is that we have a little bit more control of what fields are actually in that table it might be that we want to create additional fields this is a typical reason why we want to generate our own um, many-to-many table link tables we want to add some additional fields inside the table now although we're not actually going to do that we will go through the steps and I will show you how to actually create a custom many-to-many -many relationship table right so let's go to the end of our models file and we we'll add this at the end so let's create our first class which is going to be the product product line um, attribute uh, many-to-many link table that's what we're going to build first so this attribute value so we're going to build this table first like I keep saying many times Django automatically creates this for us but we're going to define it ourselves. so let's go ahead and do that so the ID will automatically get created for us so the ID will get created for us so we don't need to define that so what we do need to define is two fields and they're both going to be foreign keys so this is the attribute attribute it's going to be the attribute value to the attribute value table and then the product product line which is going to be the foreign key to the product line table so let's go ahead and do that so this is just going to be a foreign key so models dot foreign key so we need to find the model which is the attribute value table attribute value and then we can define on delete so again we need to select an appropriate on delete option so i'm going to go for models dot cascade right so we can do the same thing again for the product line but this time of course it's going to be the product line table and there we go so let's go ahead and build the last table which is going to be the product type table uh, so let's add the attribute value and product line okay so clearly there's a mistake there so let's go ahead and change that that should be product type and pro attribute value so that is also incorrect of course so that should be the product type and product building relationship between the product and the product type okay right so let's go ahead and build that uh, what i'll do is i'll just copy this down and then we can utilize that so this is going to be the product um, product type and the attributes is going to be product and product type it's going to be a foreign key the product is going to be connected to the product table and then the product type is going to be connected to the product type table and there we go this will now act as a, a normal table in many ways in that like i said one of the main reasons to create our own link tables is to add some additional fields this table which i referred to as a link table so it might also be called a through table some of us might call it through table so if you are reading through documentation relating to these link or through tables it might be um, there might be different terminology related to the same thing so congratulations if you got this far we've now generated 
our own database schema, we've generated a number of different Django models. We've identified field names, field types. We've identified relationships, primary keys, um, foreign keys, many to many relationships. So there's one more tutorial to go and that's a one to one relationship, which is fairly simple. Like I said, I won't add that to the design, but I'll take you through the general process of building a one to one relationship. Now, you probably already discovered yourself there is much more information to tell regarding uh, many of the aspects that we've already covered in this section. And you might find that later on in the course, deeper into the course, there are sections devoted to certain aspects that we've covered here, which will take you a little bit deeper into, for example, creating many to many relationships.